Christmas crackers are as much a staple of British Christmas as your granddad's homophobic rant at the dinner table. And for the last 10 years, I've won every Christmas cracker that I've ever pulled. This magnificent ability has not only made my cousins strangely attracted to me, but has also given me a vast collection of trinkets that I've collected throughout the years. My favourite of which is my mini tape measure, which is ideal for measuring my spotted dick. For those of you that don't know, a cracker isn't just what I get called when I enter the R&B section of a nightclub, it's also an essential part of English Christmas. They look like this and it's a simple concept. You and an opponent pull each end of the cracker. Once the cracker breaks, whoever gets the bigger half is granted its spoils. The only thing my mum finds more annoying than me whacking out a pack of these bad boys is when she unwraps the washing up gloves she got from my dad on Christmas morning. Winning multiple Christmas crackers is considered the best way to demonstrate your sexual prowess at the office Christmas party. So if you want to hook up with a drunk, divorced, lonely, upset, middle-aged woman, I'll give you my mum's phone number. But if she doesn't pick up, I guess Janet from accounting will do. Now, to the untrained eye, a Christmas cracker pulling may seem as random as flipping a coin. But if you know what you're doing, it's as easy as catching COVID in a care home. So. How are you going to win every Christmas cracker this year? Let's find out. But before we do, I'd quickly like to take this opportunity to show you all my new Christmas merch. It's a face mask for conjoint twins. Now, if you examine the exterior angles of the cracker, you'll soon realise that you're a fucking nerd. Okay, so here's how to win. Clutch the cracker, lower your end below your opponents. Use your full range of vocabulary. Your rubbish, you stinky, big nippled, six toed. <coughs> no twisting, gentle and slow pull. Enjoy your winnings. Or clunge for short, which is ironic because that's one thing you definitely won't be short of when you're winning every Christmas cracker this year. Have a great Christmas.